Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this time-lapse version of a forest scene in Soft Pastel. I'm trying out a more expressive and looser style with this piece so it's a nice experiment for me and I'm happy to share it with you guys. There will be a real-time tutorial series from this over on my Patreon. I'll add links in the description below. But if you do enjoy this here then please hit subscribe and show my channel some support. So I took some lovely photos in Gosford Forest Park in Northern Ireland quite a few years ago and I've been waiting for a chance to experiment with a looser style to try and capture some of these little forest scenes. So I decided to uh, use pastel matte paper. That's something I'll talk about throughout this. And I chose this lovely rich purple colour as a base tone for what I'm doing. Main colour combination in this will be green and then that underlying warm purple tone. My favourite colour combination, green and purple. So I begin by very loosely sketching everything in, um, blocking in some colours in the far background behind the trees. And then I just start working my way across, bringing in the darker values. So that it starts to have a sense of how far the trees are away from us. Now this is very different to how I normally work. I do work from background to foreground mostly, but I do a lot of blending in between the layers. Um, I tend to soften most of the marks that I make. And I made a deal with myself in this painting. I was allowed to blend a little bit in the initial layers when I'm just getting a base layer down. And then after that, absolutely no touching the paper with my fingertips and it was so difficult because I'm in such a habit of blending absolutely every mark almost into the paper. So this really feels closer to painting, even closer to painting with uh, soft pastel because you're really using the pigment purely, going straight on the paper with the colours, no mixing, no blending, um, not really working my marks just going with the mark that the pastel stick itself makes and it's a lovely way to work. I'm always promising myself a bit of time to experiment with this style because I think it really lends itself to scenes like this. I have so many photo references and also places that I have in mind to try a bit of plein air but I'll never get them all painted if I try to paint them how I normally work. And I think this is a common thing with artists who work very detailed and realistic. It's uh, quite common as artists get older that they loosen up their style more. I'm certainly not going to abandon the style that I work in because that really is how I instinctively want to work. And I really love working in more detail. But I would love to think that I could do this as well, that I could capture these little scenes that I have in my memory bank and places that I'm going to visit in future. It would mean that I could create so many if I could work a bit speedier and a bit looser. So I'm going to produce a series of these. This is really the first experiment and I mentioned that I used pastel mat. I wasn't that impressed with how the pastel mat coped with this style of painting because I'm working much more thickly with the pastel sticks and I'm not blending. Um, so how I normally work with pastel mat is fantastic. It really excels with that. But I think for the next one that I try, I'll use one of the rougher, more sanded papers, something with a bit more texture. Um, perhaps even a homemade paper using pumice and gesso because then I can actually affect the texture of the surface before I even start. There are so many different ways to use pastel, so many ideas. So I'm really happy to have a bit of extra time around my normal work at the minute to experiment more and hopefully share all of that with you guys as well. And that's something that I really hoped would happen when I started my Patreon channel about um, four years ago now. That it would give me extra time to make tutorials and experiment more with soft pastel rather than constantly trying to keep up with a commissions list, which was how I was working up until then. 
And thanks to all the support I've got over on Patreon, I'm able to now devote a lot of my time to making tutorials and demos and really working on my own style at the same time, trying to push myself further as an artist and hopefully share what is an interesting progress as well. So I don't want to just get stuck teaching what I'm already good at. I want to make sure that I'm constantly pushing my skills further too. So in this tutorial, you will hear a lot more struggles than normal. Uh, there are plenty of paintings that I struggle with. Uh, there are plenty of things that I find difficult. But I'm certainly out of my comfort zone here. And I also struggled with the surface of the paper because once I would get just a couple of layers of pastel on the paper, it seemed to fill up very quickly because I'm not blending those layers in like I normally do and I'm being a bit more heavy handed with the pastel sticks. It found it quite difficult then to get the lighter colours to go on top of the darker colours and that's what I love about pastel, its ability to build up in those layers from dark to light and that's what I'm used to so I went into this head first and what I learned was that I think I need a more sanded type of paper something that can really grip the marks that I was trying to make here but not quite getting them how I wanted. But I was really keen to challenge myself with a huge bank of leaves and flowers and I tried to just simplify what I could see in the photo reference. I certainly didn't paint every leaf in the right place, nowhere close to it. I really just tried to build up this pattern with the different coloured greens, using the greens themselves to depict the light and shade amongst the leaves and then quite simply coming back through the whole thing with lots of little varying shades of dots for the little flowers over the top. So this area was not easy for me. I have a bit of a nemesis when it comes to painting and that is leaves. Leaves and trees possibly. So this piece to me in the past would have been, I just wouldn't have tried it really. So I feel like this style of painting will really lend itself to me getting more comfortable with painting landscapes, in particular trees and leaves, and also break me into a little rhythm of creating lots of these little colourful pieces that are fun to make. So I have filmed this all in real time, and if you fancy working along with me, listening to me grumble about the paper choice, wishing I'd done things differently, <laughs> but eventually making it through and finishing up with what I am quite happy with as a little um, landscape starter in working in a more loose and expressive style. So if you'd like to create this along with me, you can access the full tutorial on my Patreon channel. I'll add links in the description below. You can browse all of my tutorials on my website library, emmacolbertart.com. And of course, you'll have access to the high resolution photo reference to work along with me. So an interesting experiment for me. I'm looking forward to many more like this and hopefully finding my rhythm with these little landscape pieces. But thanks very much for watching this here on YouTube. Please do hit subscribe and support my channel. And until next time, happy pastling.